My name is Vern Kirk, I'm with ProGrain Equipment and behind me is the ProGrain Equipment B2010H and we're going to walk around and talk about the features that this machine offers. Uh, this is a 10 foot bagger with a hopper only option. Uh, the advantages of this, of this one is you can transport it at high speeds uh, going sideways or at low speeds with the tractor uh, going in operation mode. This auger offers a 20 inch auger and it has 32,000 bushels an hour for capacity and uh, we'll just walk through some of the features. The B2010H has a hopper on top of it, it's a hopper only option. And when you're filling your bags with your combine or grain cart, it offer, with this 20 inch auger, it'll take away uh, 32,000 bushels an hour. Our augers are, are on a, a slope going into the bag. The reason for that is so that if you get caught in the rain, the water won't go into your bag. This, this hitch gets folded down for operation and then there's two support arms that support it in, into position. And you attach it here and here on the other, the other pin. The B2010H has a direct drive PTO drive and it just, you simply uh, just hook on your PTO shaft right to, the, right to the auger and go to your tractor. When you're in transport, the PTO and support arms have a bracket in, built into the steps. Easily uh, operate your cradle or, or winch system up at the top there. The control panel has a uh, oversized brake gauge so that's easily seen from the combine cart or truck you you want a consistent brake pressure to fill your your bag uh, evenly throughout the whole bag it can easily be adjusted with the wheel the adjusting wheel here up or down and as the heat of the day increases you may need to adjust it down and as a, the day cools off you may need to adjust it up Keep it consistent, your bags will, will end up full with no air pockets. The winch can be operated with the toggle switch here or the remote, wired remote that plugs in in this position here. The wired remote allows you to be, uh, help assist the bag onto the tunnel and have the up and down control in your hands. The B2010H offers a manual bag pan handle. These are very dependable. Uh, and it's simply the bag pan is either down or up and these are just an over center lever so you, it allows you to operate that. The bag pan gets lowered right out of the way to put the bag on. Once the bag is on all the way to the tunnel, you raise the bag pan up for operation. On the back of the B2010H is a crane system which helps uh, put the bag onto the machine. This, this crane has a trolley and a winch on it which helps you operate the cradle. The cradle that sits here is, uh, gets lowered down to the ground. The bag gets uh, put onto the cradle. You simply pull it up and slide it onto the, onto the tunnel. At that time, you may assist the bag around the corners of the bottom of the tunnel. Otherwise, with the trolley system, it, it uh, slides on quite easily. The bag remains on the cradle the whole time. And then the two strap system, there's two straps that go on behind the cradle and they are adjusted, the tightness of them are adjusted by the two ratchets on the side. The continuous curve or the shape of our tunnel uh, assists with keeping grain from leaking by. It eliminates that. And you, we run our straps uh, tight enough so the grain doesn't slide by, but loose enough to let one ply of plastic come off at, at a time. These are optional transport wheels. They get put on to pull the, to pull the bagger at a high speed transport. On all our augers and baggers uh, in Pro Grain, they have a feature here that's a wear plate. Three bolts hold a section of flighting on, and this is a high wear spot of your auger. So keep an eye on this. If it needs replacing, three bolts later, you've, you put a new wear plate on. On the tunnel wall, you'll notice that there's two holes the two holes are vent holes for when you uh, initially start filling a bag, the air that's locked in the bag needs to exit the bag. So our holes are not screened in or meshed in at all because of dust and chaff. We, we want the uh, air to get out of there as quickly as possible. 